was in 1957. The last time it uh, lost more than this was 1948. First down and 10. East Carolina at its 30, just beginning play here at LSU. And there goes Baker. A cross sweep. He's going to bring him a couple of yards. He's chased out in front of the East Carolina bench by Sean Burks and by Ron Sancho, who's come on to play very well at the end of his first year as a starter. Certainly is. Baker, though, is an interesting fella, John. Who dealt LSU some trouble for four solid years. Simpson at left guard, followed by Ron Sancho and tackled by him at the 21-yard line. John, it's been kind of a surprising middle play, the handoff to the fullback, so they can come back later and run that option on the outside and get around the corner and try to put pressure on that secondary. Third and eight from the LSU 49. There's a pitch out wide. Big scramble. LSU's going to get this. A mistake in the Carolina pitch out gives the Tigers the football at the East Carolina 32-yard line. And that's Ron Sancho who comes up with it. A bad pitch out from the quarterback is recovered by the Tigers, and LSU has its first chance. And here's that option. This is the freeze option, and it was a bad pitch by Burke Holtzclaw, and then Baker did what he should not have done. He tried to pick up the ball, and then he finally realized at the last minute that he needed to jump on it. By then it was too late. LSU's defense all over the ball. A big play and a big recovery for Ron Sancho. Here are the Tigers down East Carolina at the LSU 32-yard line. Tight end in motion and a run up the middle. And that is Bobby Clare. Bobby Clare gets eight yards and is filled around the 24-yard line by Ron Sancho. Carolina's having pretty good success running. This is a trap play. You saw the right guard pull and he trapped across LSU's middle in the defense. Left a big, big hole. That was a pickup of about eight yards, and it's something that LSU does not want to do at any time. McKinney is a tailback in place of Tony Baker now. The up back gets the ball, and that's uh, Bobby Clare. He's at the right side for about two. Maybe. It's a completely different offense than we've seen. It seems to get the defense a little off time, doesn't it, Doug? And East Carolina again tries a running play on second down at about three to go for a first down. Six points. In motion, Flair. Pitch out goes to McKinney. Tackled by Jefferson. LSU's offense, they, I think they'd rather run some time out so that uh, if they're going to get any points up right now that they can do them right at the end of the half. Second down, eight to go. And the Tigers have that one figured out, don't they? Look at all those men. John Burks and Ron Sancho. Ball is at the 17 in Pyro Territory, East Carolina. Trying to spend up the time, and now we'll have to punt as LSU stops the play inside the 20 after McKinney gets McKinney one carry. yard. On the back, now behind Holtzclaw. McKinney has it. They hop on him on second down and 10 from the 20 at the 21-yard line. Michael Brooks. Ball carrier of note has some assistance from Thomas, Henry Thomas. Ron Sancho is in on the contact also, Doug. What a game he's played tonight. He's had a great year. A, a very, very pleasant surprise to the coaching staff. They knew that Michael Brooks would be strong on one side at the linebacker spot, but Ron Sancho has developed tremendously, come along very fast and made a great number of big plays this season. Two receivers wide left. And made a great number of big plays this season. Two receivers wide left on third and nine from LSU's 21. East Carolina has the ball. There's that freeze option, and he carries the ball this time from five yards to the right. Post claw. And he's hit by Burks. So that's fourth down coming up. Carriers in the game. And this last one not even listed on the roster. First and 20. Holtzclaw, the option, pitches out. There goes Harriman again. Sancho has help. And the gain is for three. Second down. 35 to six in the scoring. The Tigers have a comfortable lead. There's the option, pitch out to Harriman. Sancho and others. 
blocking from getting back to the line of scrimmage and he's down at the 24 yard line. That's a good defensive play and everybody for the Tigers was over there it seems. Sure is and LSU had a blitz in the middle. Burks came in and he stacked the thing up first and then Sancho came up field and did a good job and you see Sean Burks there and Toby Caston. Three of the LSU linebackers were there deep in the backfield for that tackle. Pretty Jeff good work. Heath is going to try